Hello there. Today, uh, little Bella and I are going to teach you how uh, WordPress works at a fundamental level. Uh, Bella's not going to do as much of the teaching because she only knows like three words of English, and she has a horrible accent. So I'll do most of the talking. Is that all right, Bella? Okay. All right. Now, let's look on down at my piece of paper while Bella looks a little freaked out. So most websites are HTML websites, and here you have your website, and you put your content right on it, and it's just stored right there on the page. The page goes on your web server, which is represented by a poorly drawn globe. And so when someone comes to your website, they are seeing exactly that page. And I will, of course, flip this your way when I'm in the actual video. Here's how WordPress works. And uh, this is not their logo. Their logo is much better than this. So with WordPress, you have the core site files, which basically you can think of as an empty shell. And then you have your admin area. Admin. I have no idea how good this is going to look when I flip it upside down. But in your admin area, you get to add content. And then this goes into a database, as is represented by these vaguely cylindrical looking things. And then that database goes onto the page. And then that page goes onto the web. So basically, with a normal website, your content is put in to the template itself. And with WordPress, the template is kind of like a blank template. And then the content is put into a big pile and pulled into that template dynamically. So let me come back up to my face here. Isn't that right, Bella? So um, <clears throat> the great thing about something like WordPress versus a static site is that with a static site, you need to download the files and edit them and then re-upload them. And if you have ever edited an HTML site along with a group of other people that are going to be editing it, you've likely ran into issues where you'll upload a file that the person had changed prior to you downloading it, and you'll like overwrite their changes. And the nice thing about WordPress is all of that content is stored dynamically on the web and is edited on the web. So here's the visual representation with my hands. You've got your empty template here. You've got your admin area over here. And then the content you put in is put into this database, which is then pulled into that template. So hopefully this gives you a fundamental understanding. You can go down, puppy. Hopefully this gives you a fundamental understanding and was not too uh, poorly drawn for you to follow. <laughs>